Hello, this is trigonometry lesson one. In this, I will discuss basics of trigonometry with examples. Now, first of all, I will discuss the circular system, degree system, how it is related. For example, this is circle. This is center. This is arc length, capital R. Radius is also R for this circle. Now the central angle, this angle would be one radian. The central angle would be one radian. R A D I N. The central angle. It means that if arc length is R as well as the radius is R, the central angle will be called as one radian. If you take another R, this again the radius is R. This angle will also be one radian. Now total angle we have is two radian. So can I say what's the relation? Arc length and angle in radian. Angle in radian. If arc length is R, what is the central angle? One radian. This is two R. This will be two radian. Because total angle, if the total arc length is 2r, this total arc length is 2r. The total central angle, you can see this 2 radian. If there will be 3r, it will be 3 radian. But we know that total arc length is 2 pi r. This is a total arc length, so total angle in the radian would be 2 pi radian. So very important, total angle. Made by the entire circumference on the center would be two pi radian, and we know that total angle around a point. We know that total angle around a point. This is equal to three sixty degree, and also we have just discovered that total angle around a point. Would be two pi radian. So very important, three sixty degree will always be equal to two pi radian. That's a different unit. It's a degree. It's a radian. Total angle around a point is equal to three sixty degree, and same total angle around a point is two pi radian. So three sixty degree is always equal to two pi radian. Same way we can discover the other parts. When I say pi, pi means 180 degree, because 2 pi is 360. Pi would be 180. Pi by 4, 180 by 4, 45 degree. Pi by 6, 180 by 6, that is 30 degree. So once we know pi, we can uh, discover or we can easily calculate all other values like pi by 4, pi by 6, etc., etc. So that was the basics of what is the difference between a radian and degree. Now I will discuss uh, the, about the positive and negative angle. Let's say this is the axis. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. If let's say this is the ray that is making some angle with the x-axis, this angle in anti-clockwise direction, anti-clockwise opposite to clock, clock rotate like this. In a clockwise direction, anti-clockwise angle is always considered as positive angle. If this is sixty, so you can say that this is plus sixty degree angle. Clockwise angle by the same line. This is anti-clockwise. Clockwise angle by the same line would be like this. I am making with the. This is the clockwise angle. This red. I am calculating the angle between these. Two line. This is O X and O Y. So O X and O Y between these two ray, or you can say that these two lines, the angle is plus sixty degree. Or total angle around a point is origin zero. Total angle around a point is three sixty degree. So this would be three thirty degree. But this we will consider a negative angle because this is a clockwise angle. So anti-clockwise angle is sixty degree. 
clockwise angle is minus 330 degree same way if i say that this is a let's say ox this is let's say oy this angle is for example this angle is 75 degree this is anti clockwise angle this is a positive so this angle you can say that plus 75 degree or if you want to see the clockwise side of this you can make the clockwise this is the axis and this is the clockwise angle so this would be how much this would be 360 minus 75 that is 285 degree take another example for example this is a axis ox this is the you can say the line now this anti clockwise angle let's say it's 150 degree so clockwise it would be how much total angle around a point is 360 degree so clockwise angle would be 210 and that would be negative so very important clockwise angle is negative you can say that is minus 210 degree and anti clockwise angle is always a positive and you can say that this is equals to 150 degree so very important you must be able to understand what is the meaning of a negative angle now entire trigonometry is based on the right angle triangle whatever sin theta cos theta tan th theta everything is related to right angle triangle so i have assumed a right angle triangle abc in which you can see that this is angle theta this is angle 90 now what is called base base is always the side which contains the theta angle as well as the 90 angle so this is called as base other side would be perpendicular and this would be hypotenuse and we know the relation ac square by pythagoras theorem is always equals to ab square plus bc square so for very important what is the base base is the side on which the 90 degree angle as well as theta degree angle lies now we can determine the trigonometric identities sin theta would be how much perpendicular you can say this is p i can denote perpendicular by p base by b hypotenuse by h that would be ac so sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse always equal sin theta is always equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse that is ab upon ac cos theta is base upon hypotenuse tan theta is perpendicular upon base or you can always say that tan theta is sin theta by cos theta very related to sin cos and tan is cosec theta this is equals to 1 upon sin theta so once you know sin theta you can always calculate cosec theta sec theta will always be equals to 1 upon cos theta and cot theta this is equals to 1 upon tan theta the cot is inversely related to tan sec is inversely related to cos cosec is inversely related to sin but these three things you must very important what is sin cos and tan sin is p by h perpendicular by hypotenuse cos is b by h base upon hypotenuse tan theta is perpendicular upon base now next is some basic value that you must know for sin cos and tan these basic value will not be provided to you in the exam you have you must know these values fast so that you you should be able to cal calculate the answers in a faster manner so how to calculate the value there is a fixed pattern you can say 0 1 2 3 4 four, 3 2 1 0 divide each number by 4 so that will be very easy for you to remember this values take the positive square root the symbol means positive square root now you can calculate all the values if i say sin 30 sin 30 would be how much 1 by 4 square root that is half this value must be straight away remember to you sin 60 degree this will be 3 by 4 square root that is root 3 by 2 sin 90 1 cos 60 1 by 4 
दिस इज कोस सिक्सटी वन बाय फोर स्क्वेर रूट वन पॉजिटिव स्क्वेर रूट हाफ नाउ वंस यू नो साइन एंड कोस कोस नाइंटी इट वुड बी जीरो साइन जीरो इट वुड बी जीरो कोस जीरो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज वन सो वेरी सिंपल जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो डिवाइड बाय फोर टेक्स स्क्वेर रूट यू हैव ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ साइन एंड कोस फ्रॉम फोर जीरो थर्टी फोर्टी फाइव सिक्सटी एंड नाइनटी नाउ वट इज टेन टेन इज सिंपली साइन बाय कोस सो जीरो बाय वन इज जीरो वन बाय टू अपॉन रूट थ्री बाय टू दिस इज वन बाय रूट थ्री स्ट्रेट अवे टेन फोर्टी फाइव वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन टेन सिक्सटी इज रूट थ्री टेन नाइनटी साइन नाइनटी बाय कोस नाइनटी दैट इज वन बाय जीरो इन्फिनिटी सो साइन कोस एंड टेन यू मस्ट रिमेंबर फॉर बेसिक डिग्री एंगल्स जीरो थर्टी फोर्टी फाइव सिक्सटी एंड नाइन्टी सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट ट्रिग्नोमेट्री लेसन वन बेसिक्स विद एग्जाम्पल आई विल कंटिन्यू विद मोर बेसिक्स इन द नेक्स्ट लेसन थैंक यू